As we all know, the Madagascar series is very well known for having the most powerful characters in fiction who are capable of inconceivable feats. I am 100% certain that even the weakest character in Madagascar clops any character that's ever existed. So in this video, we're going to pit Madagascar characters against some of the strongest characters in fiction because I'm running out of fucking ideas. But before we get started with that, I want to talk about the reason this video was made. My main goal with this vid is to put the Goku Tards in their fucking place because I'm tired of these idiots constantly running their mouths. So that's why before we do the matchups, I'm going to talk about why I hate Goku Tards a little bit. But anyways, buckle in because this video is going to be really fucking stupid. Okay, so why do these motherfuckers feel the need to always talk about how strong Goku is? Like, nobody gives the smallest amount of a shit. I could be watching a video essay about fucking Green Book, and I'll see one of these dumbasses in the comments saying, Goku solos the whole verse, bozo, <laughs> Shut up. Of course he's gonna be strong because he's in a universe where the average fucking citizen can level a city by sitting down too fast. But the thing that bothers me the most is how these guys talk about how he stomps Aaron Yeager. Well, no fucking shit. Goku is a god of destruction and you're pitting him against a guy who can get real big. Aaron is strong in his own universe because it's in relation to the people around him. You can't pick Goku against people whose verses are grounded in reality because Dragon Ball Z isn't grounded in reality at all. Like, I could be talking about literally any powerful character that has ever existed, like Superman, then some dumbass in the comments will comment about how, well, actually, Goku punched a hole in a sun, which puts him on multi-universal level, which is five levels above Superman, who is only multi-planetary, which makes this matchup obsolete. Victory. Shut the fuck up! I don't even know what the fuck multi-universal means. Alright, we're moving on before I have an aneurysm. First matchup, Goku versus Skipper. The North Wind is an elite undercover interspecies. The North Wind is an elite un task force dedicated to dedicated to helping dedicated to helping animals who can't help themselves. Now this isn't very well known, but Skipper has revealed Two. unspecified circumstances involving explosions, a high-speed chase, and Hans the Puffin. He's not allowed to set foot in Denmark after being declared public enemy number one by Queen Margaret II. I just want to add that this is an actual fucking fact about Skipper from Madagascar, and I don't know what to feel about it. It's on the official fucking wiki. But possibly, the most important thing about Skipper is what's under the surface of the fact. And it's about Skipper's age. His age is unknown officially, but his old-fashioned sexism and burning hatred towards hippies suggest that he's, an, he's older, he's the oldest one of the penguins. But here's the weird part. When he was banned from Denmark, it was while Queen Margaret II was on the throne, which was in 1972. The lifespan of Skipper's species, which is the Adelie penguin, is 10 to 20 years. But according to the facts in the official wiki, he has lived for more than 40 years. And he's still in his prime the last time we see him. This leads me to believe that Skipper is immortal. Maybe not immortal, but he ages similar to Thor in Marvel, where, where he ages very slowly. And as we all know, Goku is not immortal. Masako Nozawa stated that Goku does in fact age and can die, but Skipper on the other hand has not once ever feared death. Skipper's feats include effortlessly knocking out humans 10 times his size with nothing more than a karate chop to the neck, hijacking a freighter, breaking into Fort Knox, and surviving a horrifying plane crash, and he just walked it off as if nothing happened. This all leads me to believe that Skipper is simply a god of destruction who is constantly limiting his true power in order to not destroy the surface of the earth at every moment of his life, making this matchup pretty much obsolete. Goku might be able to teleport and shoot laser beams, but he doesn't have the toolkit to hurt Skipper. So the best case scenario for Goku, he avoids Skipper's hits until he dies of old age. And since we haven't seen Skipper at his full power, the fight is like an easy win. This bitch is on another level never before seen in fiction. Kratos, in all his power, would be lucky to walk out of this matchup alive. She would not only win, she would embarrass Kratos to the point where he would kill himself. So now, let's take a look of, of some of this bitch's feats. First off, Dubois is the most agile motherfucker I have ever seen. 
She's able to dodge incom incoming objects like it's nothing, and she somehow managed to duck underneath a moving train without even fucking trying. Kratos may have her beaten strength, but that doesn't change the fact that none of Kratos' attacks would even be able to hit her since she has the reaction time of a god. Not to mention the fact that she's able to heal, her s heal people at will by singing. Her voice can shatter objects, like her henchmen's casts, and she can just heal several broken bones just by fucking singing. Hell, that's more than Sakura could ever do in her entire life. Not to mention how her pure endurance and tankiness is on another level of fucking insane, where at one point she just r straight up ran through walls made of either what I believe to be drywall or fucking concrete. It took the combined forces of all the penguins, the zoo animals, a plane, and an armored truck just to narrowly escape her. And so, so what Kratos fucking lifted the nine realms? He hasn't ran through concrete, and he needed to bring his son to a healer because he's too fucking incompetent to heal him himself. Kratos couldn't even run because she can track people for miles with her amazing tracking skills. So basically, if someone can give me one good reason why Kratos wins this matchup, in the comments, I'll, I'll fucking eat zucchini. I don't even care. I know she's going to win. Mort is a literal god with a big G. Skipper might be a god of destruction, but Mort exists on another plane of existence. And this isn't even a joke. I'm in shock after reading the fucking wiki. What I'm about to say is actual facts about this character. First off, he is protected by a force field of ignorance and he can't feel pain. He can't feel pain! You can't hurt him! Secondly, in All Hail King Julian Exiled, it is revealed that Mort is of a species that is just immortal. I was semi-joking about Skipper, but this is actually fucking canon. He can shoot cobwebs out of his arms, he can turn his head 180 degrees anti-clockwise, he can suck out the life force of other morts, which gives him new personalities and abilities. Like, what the actual fuck? This isn't even a joke anymore, why is he so strong? I can't even think of a proper matchup because he will win all of them. Maybe Thanos with all Infinity Stones would be able to almost keep up with him in a fight. Because although Mort is literally an immortal being, he hasn't shown strength feats that are like that insane. Mort would simply outlast Thanos with his small size by dodging the attacks from the stones until he would just wear down Thanos with punches and hits. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think Mort just bodies all of fiction. Jesus fucking Christ, this isn't even a joke! What am I doing with my life? So yeah, Madagascar characters are pretty fucking strong. But with all that aside, I think all these characters can beat Goku, so stay mad, losers. And I haven't even seen Dragon Ball, and I don't plan to, so don't go in the comments bringing up dumbass feats that I don't care about. Alright, I'm gonna leave, rethink my life choices, and think about led me to fucking analyzing Madagascar characters. Hey guys, sorry again for the late upload, but I just want you guys to know I'm always working on my videos, even if I can't make the time for them, and I'm not gonna quit, so... If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and uh, maybe even leave a comment. So, thanks. Bye.